The Cube at Hadoop Summit 2014 is brought to you by anchor sponsor Hortonworks. We do Hadoop. And headline sponsor, WAN Disco. We make Hadoop invincible. Welcome back everybody, I'm Jeff Kelly with Wikibon. You're watching theCUBE, we're here live at Hadoop Summit in San Jose. Uh, we've got a really interesting uh, segment coming up here. Uh, we've got kind of a heavyweight of tech, Microsoft joining us along with Hortonworks, of course, close partners. Uh, mm -hmm. We've got Aaron Kelly, who's the GM data platforms at Microsoft, joining us along with longtime CUBE alum, John Kreisa, VP of Strategic Marketing at Hortonworks. Welcome, guys. Thank you, Jeff. Welcome, Jeff. welcome first time and welcome, uh, welcome back, John. Mm -hmm. Thanks. So, John, let me start with you. Obviously, big day today. Uh, yep. We watched the keynote, some good stuff mm -hmm. from our friend Merv Adrian, mm -hmm. uh, Rob Bearden. Uh, what's your feeling uh, this morning? Uh, pretty great. excited and maybe yeah. a little tired from all the planning? And We're super excited, got plenty of energy to keep going. Uh, it's a great start for the show. As we said, over 3,200 registered, so fantastic growth. Um, support and backing from the ecosystem, from the community, from, from folks like Microsoft in terms of supporting the event. So we're, uh, we're very happy with how things are going. I think generally the community and everybody should be happy with really how people are coming together with a lot of energy. Yeah, I mean the energy here is great. Um, obviously the show is growing. What were we at last year? Um, 2,500. About 2,500, yeah, so, so great growth group. continues. Um, some really good stuff. So let's, let's dive into the relationship with Microsoft and, uh, and Hortonworks. Mm -hmm. We've covered this in the past and we know that uh, you know, Hortonworks and Microsoft work very closely to bring Hadoop to, to, to Windows. Mm -hmm. um, Aaron, let me talk to you a little bit about what does that mean for, for Microsoft customers and why that was so important. Well, what's really important for us is we looked at the data landscaping and it was, it was, it was evolving. Hadoop was going to be a cornerstone of many enterprise implementations. And being able to give customers that option of running HDP on Windows in their environment, I mean, Windows is uh, the predominant operating system for IT teams. And so being able to use Windows tools to manage the environment we felt was important. The other thing we were very focused on is how do we make it really easy for customers to start using Hadoop in the cloud? And so again, this is where our partnership has come to fold, where with HD Insight, which is our uh, Windows Azure solution for, for Hadoop, uh, it makes it very, very easy for customers to spin up clusters and get started um, on Hadoop. And you know, we're seeing patterns very similar to what Merv talked about today in his keynote, where you see you know, a few clusters coming up for dev test, then moving to kind of pilot projects and then full on production. Mm -hmm. as customers are really starting to take advantage of that, that easy on-ramp to the cloud. But what was critical is we wanted to ensure that that wasn't some sort of proprietary um, distro of Hadoop. We really wanted it to be consistent with what Hortonworks was doing, 100% Apache. So customers' applications that may have run on Linux or run on Windows on-prem or in Azure can be consistent. And that's very, very important. We believe long-term, and it's also why we've invested a lot back into the community. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about a little bit why that is so important. Um, you know, uh, I think some of our viewers may know um, Microsoft kind of had their own uh, kind of competing big data framework, mm -hmm. which they, uh, which you, you know, kind of uh, abandoned to put all your effort into uh, Hadoop when it comes to big data. Uh, talk about why that openness is so important and, and kind of why, how that fits uh, with your relationship with Hortonworks in particular. Yeah, no, it's a great example if you go back to Dryad, which is the yeah. Microsoft technology. And when we looked at that at the time, about 24 months ago, it was, hey, do we want to go down the path of a proprietary solution and try to build an ecosystem around it, or do we want to embrace Hadoop? And it, it, we decided to go in the direction of Hadoop in partnership with Hortonworks so that more people can use the technology. Because ultimately, we see it as part of a building block, and the more access that customers who are familiar with, say, SQL Server, and write, like writing T-SQL, being able to access data in, in Hadoop through our tool set we thought was really important. When it comes to the user experience, and Ranga talked about this in the keynote, where we think of the data platform, we think of analytics, but we also think a lot about those users. Um, it was very, very important to us that every Excel user on the planet have the ability to pull information from Hadoop so they can start to interact with it in a richer yeah. way. And going on our own direction would have made it a lot more difficult to build that mm -hmm. center of gravity. Now, um, because of the partnership, it's very easy for customers right out of Excel to pull um, you know, the results of a MapReduce job yeah. into Excel. Well, you, you've got you know, a billion plus Excel users out there. That's right. Um, so that's obviously a, um, could be a gateway for Hadoop to bring that into the enterprise. John, talk a little bit about that and, and, and the importance of that uh, sure. relationship with Microsoft and, and how Excel essentially kind of opens you up, uh, opens yeah. up Hortonworks to this wide use, uh, wide base of users. 
Yeah, well, it's, uh, it's been a great partnership, kind of go back to your original comment as well. I think at this stage, it's one of our long, longest partnerships that we've had at Hortonworks, and certainly easily one of our deepest, if not the deepest partnership in terms of the work we've done together, engineering, product management, really to first bring Hadoop to the Windows platform, but then ultimately um, to begin to open it up to all of the different tools uh, that Microsoft has because there are so many users that really that's their traditional way of accessing the data. And we know for Hadoop to be successful, you have to really make it so that they can access the traditional tools and skills that they already have. So that's what makes this a great partnership is there are so many skills and tools out there in, the, in both just in, in, in SQL Server and in Windows technologies and in Excel and kind of the, the more front end user technologies, it's super important for us to make sure that we enable usage of Hadoop in the mode and with the skills that they already have. So that's really where this mm -hmm. works out great kind of synergy between the strategies of what Microsoft's working on and what we're working mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. So, you know, speaking of kind of using some of the tools and techniques that people are familiar with, SQL of course being, being one. Mm -hmm. uh, talk a little bit about the Stinger initiative. So you've, yep. you've kind of completed that sure. uh, within the last couple of months. Yep. Um, for those out there who don't, aren't familiar with it, tell us a little bit about the Stinger initiative sure. and then I'm really interested to talk uh, uh, with Aaron about mm -hmm. kind of the, the commitment, uh, the uh, contributions, I should say, that Microsoft made to that. Sure, sure. absolutely. So I'll just, just briefly, the Stinger was a 13-month initiative, as you said, closed about uh, three months ago to make Hive, the de facto SQL access uh, engine inside of Hadoop, to run 100 times faster. Um, and it had a bunch of different components in terms of how we're going to improve Hive, um, replace the underlying uh, uh, execution engine, um, as well as you know, make uh, improvements across the board that we're going to make Hive much more fast, as well as improve the SQL semantics that Hive provided out to the end user. So a lot of different community members participated and ecosystem pr participated. Uh, Microsoft played a substantial part in terms of how they helped hi us make Hive uh, deliver on that. And actually, uh, the Stinger Initiative is now delivered, and it, it, Hive has actually achieved some of those uh, goals that we had in terms of making it faster. So, Microsoft is a major contributor, I guess. You want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's again, it's been core to our strategies. How do we make uh, customers more, who are familiar with existing paradigms, we've talked about Excel, that's sort of the obvious one, but T-SQL as well is another one where there's a lot of DBAs out there that know how to write in T-SQL, and allowing them to have access to uh, data in Hadoop is a really important part of the strategy. It's very congruent with what we're trying to do. And we realize that the best way to get scale out of that was to push it right back into the into the contribution. So, so since we started working with Hortonworks, we've um, contributed over 30,000 30, lines of code and um, 10,000 engineering hours to make this happen, including uh, the core query engine uh, that, that led to the performance that John was talking about, about 100x. So that's been a very, very important part of the strategy. And ultimately, we believe we can really help bring Hadoop made more mainstream. Not only to end users, as most people think about, but also to all the DBAs out there that, that mm -hmm. you know, know and love SQL. So, you know, as Hadoop becomes more mainstream, talk a little bit about um, how that how Hadoop fits with the rest of the Microsoft, um, you know, portfolio of data management technologies. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you've got SQL Server, uh, you've got um, Excel, Power BI, you've mm -hmm. got other tools out there. Where does it fit um, in your kind of uh, hierarchy of? of data management tools from a Microsoft perspective. Yeah, so we think of it as a great complement to some of the technology you've already described. If you start with the user, we think of Excel and our new Power BI service as a way of delivering um, great value and bringing BI to every user, we like to say, bring BI or big data to a billion users. So that's sort of that user stack and being able to interact with data both through the tool they know in Excel as well as application types experiences. Then there's an analytics layer, um, which of course Hadoop plays a big part of that, so a lot of the analytics layer there, um, as well as SQL Server, classic, you know, our column store for data warehousing and other layers. And then the, the platform layer where the data is stored. And this is where, um, focused on a hybrid solution where you can run this um, infrastructure on a Windows environment, on premises, or you can take advantage of it in Microsoft Azure in the cloud. And so having this hybrid uh, core platform to run the infrastructure is that third layer, the stack. So we very much see Hadoop as a, again, a great complement mm -hmm. to SQL Server as part of that analytics layer. Uh, so I'm curious, so there's been a lot of you know, talk out there about you know, the relationship between the data warehouse and Hadoop. Do you see uh, Hadoop encroaching on the data warehouse uh, in terms of some of the workloads? 
Um, I think we, it's pretty definitively been decided it's not going to replace the data warehouse, right. but I think there's certainly some overlap, and in some cases you're going to be kind of uh, fighting for some of the same dollars uh, as, as a partner like Hortonworks. How does that tension, uh, how, do you, how do you live with that tension inside yeah, of Microsoft? Yeah, well, so we see it as a great compliment. And I thought, again, uh, still stealing from Merv this morning, I mean, he talked about how last year, or 2012, there was a percentage of people who thought that had to replace the data warehouse, and that's actually dropped, been cut in half over the last year. Um, and so we see that similar thing, where customers, I think, originally looked at it as, hey, this might replace the data warehouse, and they've looked at it, and they've um, worked through their scenarios, and then they've come to realize this is a great complement to the traditional data warehouse. I think if we look at the latest release of SQL Server 2014 as an example, with our updatable in-memory column store, I mean, the kind of performance and the compression that you get in that kind of environment is so, so high that it's a great complement to the large amounts mm -hmm. of data that, you know, I'm still waiting to see what the value is, but I'm glad I have it and I do. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we see it as a great complement. And yeah, maybe some scenarios may go one way or another, uh, but ultimately our goal is to deliver, if we're going to bring big data to a billion users, mm -hmm. then we got to make sure that we can connect to all kinds of technologies and support customer choice on how mm -hmm. they're going to consume on-prem, in the cloud, structured, unstructured. It's important to support it all. So let's get, you know, let's get right to some, some you know, use cases. Who's actually, uh, who are some joint customers? What kind of traction are you getting uh, you know, in the market, going to market together? Uh, maybe could you give us some examples of uh, some of those customers and what they're, what they're doing with the combined Hortonworks and uh, Microsoft uh, portfolios of tools and technologies? Sure, I think, I think one, of the, one of the neat ones we talked about today in the keynote with the video was Virginia Tech. Uh, just incredibly exciting when you think about some of the statistics. Um, you know, a few years ago it was $100 million to sequence a genome, now it's 6,000. Uh, and, 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 and so it's amazing how just, you know, Hadoop and this access to low cost compute and storage has really accelerated their ability to um, basically come up with cures for cancer. That's really what they're focused on. And they were even describing before they started using Hadoop in, in Azure, uh, it would take them two weeks to sequence one genome. Now they can do 100 in a day. And think about how that changes the way you not only think about your research, but in fact how you might, in a life and death situation, react to a particular patient that's coming in. Hey, if I can sequence your genome here in, a, in an hour or so while you're being tested, I can get a whole new set of data on how to better, better treat you as a patient. So it's amazing how that, the partnership of bringing, again, Apache Hadoop, but delivering it in the cloud so it's easy to access, uh, has transformed things for Virginia Tech. Very cool story. Yeah, I think another one is a company called Zermed. It's um, based in, uh, in Kentucky. It's, um, they do medical billing for healthcare providers. Um, so great example, and there's be some case studies and things coming out very soon on this. Um, a great story where they're collecting all that billing data and then using Hadoop to analyze that data and then provide it back through to users who can use it in a familiar interface. And one of the reasons they're using Hadoop on Windows um, and providing it back to those users is for skills, right? It's to leverage the skills that they already have. It's a great story of, of being able to collect data that they really weren't able to efficiently collect and, and utilize and, and analyze before. Now they can do it inside of Hadoop because of the kind of scales and volumes that they're looking at and the, mm -hmm. the, um, the nature of the kind of data, the billing data that they're collecting in terms of you know, searching through there for, for billing codes and all the different things you have to search through. So it's fairly unstructured data. Mm -hmm. um, and, and Hadoop is providing that platform to build an, an analytics system that they can provide back through to their, to their customers. So they get insight into what the billing patterns are and get some additional information. But great use case and it's, it's all about mm -hmm. the skills that they had available and how they wanted to leverage and they were a window shop. They wanted to make sure they stayed on that platform. Mm -hmm. So uh, tell us a little bit about the um, support arrangement between Microsoft and Hortonworks. So for those customers you just, you just mentioned, mm -hmm. um, is it a single source for uh, support? Do they go to Microsoft, do they go to Hortonworks? How does that kind of work? So it depends what they purchase. So mm -hmm. if they go with HD Insight in Azure, mm -hmm. then they come to Microsoft as the sort of one throat to choke, if you will, mm -hmm. a single line of support, and then we uh, tier three back to Hortonworks okay. uh, for key issues. If it's HTTP on Windows, they go to Hortonworks because right. mm -hmm. they've bought the HTTP product. And, and what have you done to kind of uh, incent the Microsoft sales force to go out and resell Hortonworks or HD Insight? How does that, how does, was there a lot of um, work that had to go into that? Uh, because we talked a little bit, you know, the market, or I should say the price dynamics between something like Hadoop and something uh, like a more traditional data warehouse are significant. How does uh, Microsoft go ahead and uh, actually kind of incent the uh, sales teams? Yeah, sure, so uh, again, in, in most cases we see it as a complement mm -hmm. or a complementary 
uh, uh, installation. Of if anything, it's growing deal size for some of our sellers where they're able to, hey, sell in SQL Server as a data warehouse or as a OLTP engine and then complement that with an HD Insight subscription in Azure. Or when you land HDP on Windows, of course, it drives Windows Server licenses. So that's a bonus mm -hmm. for our sellers. So for the most part, our sellers look at this as an augment or something to add on mm -hmm. to the deal as opposed to a replacement. Because again, in many cases, uh, customers have a data warehouse today, they're continuing to use it, they're bringing relational data into that data warehouse, but what they want to do is augment that with unstructured mm -hmm. data that can be born and analyzed in Hadoop, and that, that connection um, is actually a really important. In fact, we just released um, about a month ago a new appliance called the Analytics Platform System that brings together uh, Hadoop region and a in-memory column store into a single piece of iron. And so mm -hmm. we call it big data in a box. And it's a great example where field sellers love it because they can say, hey, I can land a, you know, the world record holding in-memory column store in the same region and mm -hmm. similar or adjacent region. I've got basically HDP on Windows and it runs together. I can query across both using Polybase. It's a very, very powerful solution. Um, that brings together the best of both worlds. So we're excited about it. I think it's significant too because the combination of the data, I mean that's what you really see where organizations are getting you know, additional value by combining some of the data they were storing in their traditional system with the, data, the new types of data that they're collecting in Hadoop. That ability to query across those things and join that information to get new insights, it's actually a pretty powerful mm -hmm. uh, capability. Uh, so, yeah, dig into a little bit more. Um, we've got time for just one more question, but I'm curious, you know, how deep is the uh, technical integration uh, and how close do the engineering teams of Microsoft and Hortonworks work together? I think our engineering teams probably have a, is it a weekly call? Yeah, <laughs> and so it's, it's very deep. Yeah, mm -hmm. they work very, very closely together. We have a quarterly all-day sync um, up in Redmond where the teams get together, but I think everyone's on a first-name basis, yeah. probably texting people back and forth. Yeah, yeah. I am. It's, yeah, yeah. it's uh, a very important relationship, and again, because the strategies are so complementary, right? Hortonworks wants to bring 100% Apache Hadoop to every user. We want every user to be able to take advantage of big data analytics, so it's a great, great partnership. Right. I think that's a, a great place to wrap it up. John, great. Aaron, thanks so much for joining us on theCUBE today, sure. appreciate it. Uh, stay tuned, you're watching theCUBE at Hadoop Summit. We'll be here all day uh, today and for the next couple of days. Uh, stay tuned, we'll be right back. Great. Thanks, Jeff.